the two cheetahs unexpectedly offered to help the little girl pick up the doll on the ground. What on earth makes the relationship between them so delicate? Why do these two cheetahs appear in a family with two young children? Won't they hurt the children? There are two rickety babies playing with toys in the room when two cheetahs come in slowly from the outside. One of them notices that the baby is having a good time and does not have time to play with it. So it obediently picks up a doll aside and begins to amuse itself. While the other runs mischievously in front of the camera. I have to say, this atmosphere is very delicate, cheetahs and children do not interfere with each other, the picture is really warm. After the nap, in order to wake the children up. The parents take the cheetahs to the garden to play. Who would have thought that the cheetahs, who are all-powerful, on the prairie, would play the game of picking up the ball like a big dog? I don't know how their friends will feel when they see this. Will they sigh deeply? But looking at the cheetah's reaction, they seem to be very satisfied with this kind of life, grabbing the ball like a runaway wild horse. The man is even in high spirits and plays the game of kicking the ball with the cheetahs. But apparently the cheetahs prefer to play with the babies. Looking at the playful male owner, the cheetahs simply lie down on the ground after playing with them for a few minutes, looking at the baby cheetah cubs staying with their mother not far away, thinking, how old is he? He is not as sensible and obedient as a child, I believe many people are curious about how their family has such a close relationship with the two cheetahs. In fact, it started when the baby was born. The couple were very fond of going to the wild. Compared with other couples who went to the movies when they had nothing to do, what they liked most was driving an SUV to the wild on weekends, but they haven't had a chance since they gave birth to two children. Until that day, the child's grandparents came to visit them. They decided to leave the children with the old couples for a day, and then went to play together. It was in that field trip that they met these two little guys. At that time, the two little guys were crying for food, and there were a big cheetah besides them. Which seemed to be their mother. But the big cheetah lay motionless on the ground, which made them worry, was there something wrong with the cheetah? But after all, cheetahs were quite ferocious beasts, and they dared not move forward rashly, so they could only watch aside. However, the big cheetah did not move until dark, and they wondered whether the big cheetah was dead. So they picked up a branch, went back to the car, slowly approached the cheetahs, and then poked the body of the cheetah with the branch. It still didn't move. After many temptations, they could confirm that the big cheetah had lost its life. Looking at the poor cheetah cub, they have been hungry all day. They would die if it went on like this. After much consideration, they decided to take the two cheetah cubs home. When they got home, they took good care of the cheetah cubs. The hostess said she was going to make hot milk for the two children, so she made a glass for the cheetah cubs by the way. Originally, she only had to get up at night to breastfeed the children when they were crying. But after having the cheetah cubs, she would get up every two hours for fear that something might go wrong with the cheetahs. In such meticulous care, the cheetah cubs and the children grew up together, and they also established a very deep relationship. Every time they took a nap, the children each held a cheetah. Most people would be scared when they see that, but their relationship is so good that everyone might envy them. The cheetah's fondness for the children sometimes made the couples a little jealous. I have to say, this is really a wonderful fate. From this story, we can see that the cheetahs and the family care for each other. They accompany each other and play their own role in the family. In another corner of the world, the same touching story takes place between a man and a cheetah. There is a scene on the social platform that moved many people, a man with paralyzed legs, sitting in a wheelchair, 
and a very docile cheetah lying on his leg. The man is former race driver Joan, Joan is a Spaniard. In 2012, his life was turned upside down after a motorcycle accident in Italy paralyzed his lower limbs and forced him to sit in a wheelchair. For a long time he felt very confused and irritable. He dared not go out and felt as if everyone was paying attention to his legs and even hammering them often. His heart was filled with sadness and resentment. He thought he would spend the rest of his life in this mood, but a small thing changed him. Speaking of this, I have to mention his little pet, which is a cheetah. Joan, who liked racing, had always been wild and adventurous since childhood, so he often went to play in the wild with his friends. One day, Joan found an injured cheetah cub. The cheetah looking at him with wet eyes and longing struck Joan in the heart, so he took the cheetah cub home to take good care of it. Gradually the cheetah cub grew up, and Joan liked to take it to the racing. The cheetah cub was very quiet whenever he got on the racing car. It seemed to know the danger, but it was willing to accompany its master. It was the company of the cheetah cub, so Joan had an extra responsibility and became more careful when he's driving. But it was unexpected that the accident still happened, however. When Joan was in deep pain, the guy who had been given new life by him could repay him. That day Joan was sunbathing in his wheelchair that day as usual, and his heart was filled with sadness. Lying on one side, the cheetah seemed to see that its owner was in a very bad mood. When it thought of the scenery of its owner before, and now he could no longer walk on his legs, the cheetah's heart was filled with a trace of bitterness. So it got up carefully and stared at Joan quietly. Joan was so angry that he thought, are you going to laugh at me too? But the next scene melted Joan's heart, which had been frozen for days. The cheetah approached Joan cautiously, then lay down on his legs and gently kissed his legs. It was this scene that made Joan look forward to life. He began to feel as if life was not so uncomfortable. He couldn't move his legs, but the cheetah could. Every time Joan wanted something, he asked the cheetah directly, and the cheetah was sure to get it for him quickly and accurately. Looking at the cheetah, Joan sighed in his heart, I gave you life, you gave me a pair of legs. This touching story of two-way redemption inspired many people who marveled at how well the cheetah could understand human nature. In fact, all small animals are the same. As long as we treat them attentively, they can also be as docile as cats and dogs, see you next time.